Hello, everybody. Would you be interested in purchasing this? Um, let's have a look. That's a second radius curve. Okay. It needs no introduction, obviously it's Gordon. Mark II, post-1939 crew rebuild. This is a rather unique build, because this stems from the Hornby Gordon. Um, yeah, <laughs> ages ago what happened was, my dad was running it in, and he forgot there was a smoke generator in the funnel, so it melted the funnel. So I decided, obviously, I need to take the funnel bits off and put on a nice new brass one. So I did that. But in the meantime, the body was chipped, so I had to fill the, the chips in. Then I realised, oh, the chips uh, necessitate a full-blown repaint. I thought, that's a lot of work. Uh, how about just rebuild it? So I did. And this was before Sparks at Customer Creations even came on the scene. So the running plate is perfectly scratch-built by me. I say perfectly, you know what I mean? It hasn't had any 3D parts to it, it's just been me with plastic card. So these steps are also scratch built. These lamp irons are etches. These are class 92 buffers. Uh, again, that's uh, brass turned chimney. The cylinders are black 5 cylinders coupled with the Duchess valve gear. New idea, I've tried it out, it worked. Gives it that stanier look. And the running plate would be classed as our class is a high running plate based on the back height. When you compare A1s, you usually drop down in stages. You have a Fox transfer. Um, okay, I'll get some fixed pictures because this doesn't, doesn't really focus. You've got Fox transfers, works plates. All the handrails are basically uh, nickel silver 0.45 wire with individual pins, handrail pillars. These ones here. And here have been added completely. Tenders just to repaint. Number four's hand painted. This is the Gordon that was in my fan videos up to episode seven. Because at episode eight I made my own. But yeah, this was that Gordon. And now I'm offering it for sale if anybody wants it. Obviously I don't need a Gordon, I've got loads of the things. 